On the heels of a recent study ranking Oklahoma as the worst state for women, several state lawmakers are now trying to turn our statistics around. News Force Capitol Bureau Chief Nick Camper is just back from the state house. And Nick, there was a big study on this issue today. Yeah, these studies provide leaders in all industries an opportunity to share their stories and ideas with lawmakers in the hopes of seeing new policy changes down the road. Today, we heard some stats and stories on why Oklahoma needs to improve in health care and business opportunities for women. Women's issues are everyone's issues. These are not Democratic issues. These are not Republican issues. It starts with the conversation and identifying the problem, and I think today was a good start for that. Lauren Mingi is the founder and CEO of Quintessa Marketing. She says 60% of her workforce are women. She is willing to overpay to find the best women in the industry, to build the best team, and help bridge the wage gap between men and women. We want them to feel and be involved in our vision, and we want them to feel like this is their home. Dr. Mary Clark, former president of the Oklahoma State Medical Association, says there are just 44 birthing hospitals in the entire state. She highlighted that outcomes can't improve if women have to drive hours for health care. She adds that the mortality rate for women is 25 per every 100,000 people. That's higher than the national average of 20 per 100,000 people. There is no way you can improve access if you don't have the availability for women to go to these places. Erica Lucas is the founder of Stitch Crew Invest. Both are companies that help provide capital to women entrepreneurs. Her companies help women in multiple states. Lucas says women are apprehensive about moving to Oklahoma because of such poor outcomes economically and in health care. Why would you um, want to contribute to the economy in a state that won't treat you or that would treat you as a second class citizen? Um, that's consistently what I keep hearing from women across the nation. Oklahoma Health Care Authority was there to talk about extending sooner care postpartum coverage from 60 days to 12, 12 months. They say that 60 days is not enough for new mothers. Senator Garvin says she will take her nose from today to work on new legislation for next session.